Hey guys, my name is Bob and welcome to the Excel Math channel. And today I'm going to teach you the basics into solving the quadratic equation using in, involving inequality. So first things first, what do we mean by quadratic equation? It's just this thing, um, x squared plus 2x plus 4. So basically this itself, it's a sort of like a quadratic equation and inequalities, all right? So if you were to take a look, what does inequalities mean? It means that it is a sign. So if I were to have x squared plus 2x plus small and smaller than 0, this is what we call the inequality sign. So there are actually various inequality signs such as um, greater than or greater or equals to or uh, smaller or equals to 0. So there are actually four maybe you know five different signs i guess equals to is also considered as the inequality sign so today's topic is just basically straightforward as to solving uh, quadratic equations involving inequalities so let us just look at a particular example all right so we have this particular example 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 one all right which involves 2x squared smaller than 5x plus 3. So when we actually deal with uh, inequalities, the first thing we have to do, step number one, okay, is to shift all terms to um, the left hand side, okay, or the right hand side of the inequalities so in this case itself what I will do is I will shift the all the terms to the left hand side of the inequalities that will be 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 and that gives you 0 and then uh, step number 2 the next thing that you have to to do is to okay sort of like sketch all right you have to sketch okay the quadratic curve so basically um, quadratic equation itself they have a, sort of like a standard curve so it's either a smiley face or a set face so the next question will be under what circumstances do we actually draw a smiley face so when we draw a smiley face that is when okay this coefficient of x squared okay so the when the coefficient of x squared okay okay is positive then the graph itself or the graph of the quadratic equation will be a smiley face but if the coefficient of x squared okay is negative all right the coefficient of x squared is negative then okay the the quadratic equation will be negative or it will be a set face so for this case itself because the um inequalities or if you take a look at the quadratic equation the coefficient of x squared is positive all right that's why first thing first we plot a happy face all right of course we have to draw okay an axis and then we plot a happy face all right so we plot a happy face and we draw the axis and we also have to determine, all right, what is the um, variables or what is the roots itself. So in this case, the roots, okay, if you were to calculate, is actually 2x plus 1, okay, and x minus 3, that is smaller than 0. So we indicate the roots on, okay, uh, the graph itself, so that will be x is, okay, so that would be what? 2x plus 1 it's smaller than 0 okay x minus 3 is smaller than 0 or something like that okay so we have to work out with the roots all right we have to work out with the roots itself so this is x is equals to 3 and this is x is equals to negative half okay so let's take a look that what does this inequalities actually mean so this 
inequalities, right, actually means, okay, it means that what? We want to take, okay, the portion, okay, of the quadratic curve that is below, okay, below the x-axis, all right, so in this case, we below zero. So which is the portion of the quadratic curve that is below zero? All right, because this is the quadratic curve and they want, okay, this inequalities wants the quadratic curve to be below zero. So which portion, okay, which portion of the quadratic curve is below zero? It's actually this portion, all right? This is when it is zero, right? Y is equal to zero, okay? So this portion itself, it is, okay, of the curve is when the quadratic curve is actually below okay, the x-axis that means y is equal to zero so hence we can use this to plot okay the conclusion all right so the inequalities of the range of values okay okay in which the quadratic curve is below the x-axis when y equals of y equals to zero is between negative half and three all right all right so that's it for the basics of solving the quadratic equation using inequalities first thing i go through what is the quadratic equation followed by what are some of the inequalities and how do we go about solving that okay first thing we have to shift all the terms to the left hand side or the right hand side of the inequalities after that we sketch the curve we find out which portion of the curve that is below zero which is this portion and from there itself, we calculate, okay, based on the portion of the curve, okay, the range of values. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, I'm Bob signing off from here. Do remember to comment in the comment section below if you have any questions. Goodbye, guys.